Right, in today's vlog, my friends, boy, have I got a treat for you, especially if you like electric cars. That's right, if you love EVs or you've got an EV, or on the flip side, if you can't stand electric cars and EVs or you've got an EV and you think that they are not the future. Well, I'm in Tenerife here with Dan from Lily's Tea Terrace, English Tea Terrace no, nonetheless. And we're off to get an electric car today, aren't we? We are. And we're going to take it to a volcano. We're going to try, aren't we? are going to try, which is, I think, we'll come out with the uh, exact height in a moment and find that out for you. But it's so many feet above sea level, or metres above sea, yeah, sea level. 3,715, give or take a metre or two. And That's got, to the peak. To the, to, peak. to the peak. And we've got some interesting information for you as well, and facts. So if you are new to the channel, like and subscribe. Click that button down below. And now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. Right, okay, so we've hired a car today. We've actually hired a Fiat 500 electric here, uh, which is our preferred vehicle, we've said. Hopefully that is going to be available because they've said it is and it's held for us from two o'clock today. We're going to head over to the airport with it. Uh, it's cost us €41.99. However, the most interesting fact here, by the way, is when you rang them, what did they say? So, so when I phoned them up just to confirm the electric vehicle status, um, the lady advised me um, if we're actually sure that we want to rent an electric car because the island is not really structured and set up for electric vehicles. So she advised us against getting an electric mm. car, which is interesting as most governments now are telling us to get electric cars. So we're going to head over there. We're going to take you with us. You're yeah. going to be uh, what, a designated driver as well. Yeah, so I can we're film. We're going to do a bit of sharing driving, aren't we? Yeah, we can share a driver or whatever yeah. and do a little bit of filming. We're going to, now, I think because you've got Lily's English Tea Terrace here, yeah. uh, and we may get stuck up the volcano with no charge. <laughs> yeah. I think we need to take some, we need to take a picnic with us as well. Possibly, yeah. 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 And what I've also been told is as well, because we thought, well, if we run out of battery electric while we're up there, yeah, we can drop it in neutral and free roll down. No, there is no neutral. Well, I've been now told that all electric vehicles have got some sort of safety function on the gearbox and in a normal automatic, a combustion engine automatic, if you pop the car in neutral, it will free roll. Yeah. But apparently, this is what I've been told by somebody in the business, um, that if you put an electric vehicle into neutral, it will only roll so far and then the gearbox will lock and the front two wheels will lock on the vehicle. So we won't actually be able to free roll it back down the mount. Right. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. We may get this. stuck. We may get stuck. <laughs> this will be interesting. And yeah. also along the way, if you don't like electric cars, by the way, and you're not interested in electric cars, don't worry because there's going to be, be lots of scenery along the way. We're going to capture some scenery. As much as we can. Aren't we? Maybe stop off along the way somewhere yeah. and have a little coffee or whatever. Uh, what was it? A lecce lecce. Lecce lecce. Cortado. Or a cortado or yeah. whatever. And one of those. You'll see some sights. It'll be fun along the way as well. We'll take you with us to the airport. We be able to get a cup of tea there, will we? So there's only one place you can get a good cup of tea from. And, and that would be Lily's English Tea Terrace. I think it would be. That's yeah. it, right yeah. here in Costa Adeki. Yeah. Now, I will put this guy's a very good friend of mine, and if you do come over to Tenerife, and I'm not sponsored by him, by the way, I actually am. We are genuine friends. So uh, if you come here and you want a little bit of uh, nice tea or afternoon tea or, or breakfast or whatever, pop over here. I'll pop his details in the description down below. And you've got this wonderful terrace up here. The new roof terrace. The so new roof terrace. Next week from the 3rd of May, Wednesday the 3rd of May, we're going to be extending the hours. So it will be 9.30 until 6 p.m. Yeah. And then between three o'clock and five o'clock on the roof terrace, there'll be some special beer offers. Ooh, there you go. Yeah, so we might do some Alhambra discounts. Excellent. So I'm looking forward to this. So <laughs> I'm going to say onwards in a minute. However, also, I've got one other thing to say. Uh, there is a, a, a friend of mine or a, a very new friend of mine called Jeff Buys Cars. I'll put his link in the description down below as well, because I'm going to be doing a Land Center John O'Groats with him against his diesel mm -hmm. to see who get now. Who do you think is going to get there first? Definitely the diesel. Uh, oh, you've got, no you got no faith in it then. Uh, Which car are you driving? The Porsche Taycan. Oh, then definitely the diesel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, well, if, if you were driving the diesel, I'd still yeah. be going with the diesel. Yes, yeah, so there's nothing against you. It's nothing against me, yeah. it's just the car no, itself. No, no, just the car, yeah. I'll eat more donuts. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, on that bombshell, my friends, come on, onwards. Right, here we are at the airport, Tenerife South. Two airports in Tenerife, if you're interested. So hopefully they've actually got this all electric car because you're saying that they put on it or similar. So you have to watch for this or similar. So we shall see. Right, so we've got to go into the airport because apparently that is the checkout office. So we're walking over now to the airport and hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, they've actually got one of these electric cars because they don't seem too popular over here in, here in Tenerife. However, I have seen a Porsche Taycan the other day. So uh, there we go, come on, onwards. Right, so they have got an electric car, so we're in luck. We're in luck. We've got an all electric car. We're going. Yeah, we're going. We're doing it. We're doing it. See, right to the top of the volcano. Well, the base of the volcano, anyway. Because yeah. if we go to the top of the volcano, it'll probably fall in. Yeah. National Park. National Park. I don't think we can take an electric car. However, you know, no, no emissions, okay. zero emissions. Anyway, we'll just get it all signed up for and then we'll see you in a minute. Right, so we've got the uh, all-electric Fiat 500 here and it is 100% electric. Now we've got to get back to Costa Rodecki first. We're not going to take you guys there because um, I don't want to film while I'm driving because I haven't got my suction thing for the window. Mm -hmm. So what we'll do is we'll get to Costa Rodecki yeah. uh, in a minute yeah. and then we shall... Um, and then we'll go from there. And we'll go from there. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll see you. So we'll see you in Costa Rodecki. And if there's any doubt that this is not a full electric, this is a hybrid version just here. Yeah, well, there's, a, there's a hybrid one here, which is from La Palma, which is where the volcano erupted. There we go, look. And that one is hybrid. So okay. ours is 100% electric. So we'll see you guys at Costa Rodecki, and then we'll start the journey to the volcano. <laughs> it's gonna be, we might have to, uh, we'll stop off somewhere and we'll grab a bite to eat and have a little drink along the way and see what it's like. We can see what it's like to drive as well, because would be interested to see what a, a smaller electric car is actually like to drive compared to something like the Porsche Taycan that I drive. So Especially with the, the Tenerife sort of hills and the mountains and the Yes, road with all the road cameras and everything. it would be interesting to see what it drives like. Right, so we got there eventually. I've got to say the controls on this thing are terrible. It took us ages to find out that the actual volume control for the radio is down there. It, 
it's the layout's not good so we'll get used to it I'm sure it's a hundred percent charge and 260 kilometers of range at the moment so I'll see you back uh, in uh, Costa Adeki Right, okay, so we're not quite in Costa Adecu, we've just come a little bit out of the way. Um, we're pulling up here because we're going to swap over. Um, I've only done about, how many miles? About five miles, if that. Five or six miles, I'd say. Uh, and we're at, <laughs> we're at 89% now. There we go. Uh, 89%. And what have we got? Range. Uh, 222 kilometres left. That's taken quite a little bit. I have to say though, the car itself, well, I'll tell you what, let me just park up um, and then we'll swap seats, we'll swap drivers, and then I'll let you know exactly uh, what it's like, because it is fun. It's, it's a fantastic car to drive, I have to say. So I'll, uh, I'll get out and I'll see you at the front. Right, okay, so we get 500 electric. I've got to say before I start, and I always go on about electric cars mm. and I whinge about them, but I've always said that. It's truthful. Yeah, but I've always said I like how they drive. Yeah. And I've got to say, it's a nippy little beast, that is. It's, mm -hmm. it's re you'll see when you get in it. You've Poco Loco. It. Yeah, Poco Loco, it really yeah. is. However, 89% already. It. The thing is, I've got the Taycan, right? Mm. And what range it tells you is normally about, right, Porsche have a really good system. Yeah. So if it says it's only got 180 miles range, it's pretty bang on. These things obviously are not quite as precise as a Porsche Taycan, um, so it's, it lies a little bit on the range, etc. etc. Well, I think it's same as when you're buying a combustion engine car. The more money you spend on the vehicle, theoretically, the more intelligent, the more technology, the better the engine management should be. Yeah. I suppose theoretically that should be the same with the electric vehicles. So you know, yeah. I'd imagine Fiat do do a a higher model that might have a better engine management so it might be more intelligent yeah. you know with the, yeah. the computer systems on it well maybe. what we're going to do we're going to try and get to the uh, base of mount tady yeah. uh, and then we'll drive back as well we'll stop along the way and have a coffee or a little uh, refreshing uh, baguette or whatever and yeah. stuff like a refreshing drink a bit of juice a bit of juice etc we're also going to drive it back now what we're going to try and do when we get back is we'll try and find a charger somewhere now i mm. think there is one at uh, Siam Mall. Yeah, there's one at Siam Mall. Um, well, I, I know of ports around yeah. because I've seen them, but now trying to think where they are. I think there's yeah. one at Leroy Merlin, which is in Adeki, yeah. a little bit out of the way. Um, Siam Mall. I don't know whether there's any near Mount Tady. I'm going to say probably not. I think some of the fast food places have put them in their car parks now, like the Burger Kings, the McDonald's. Yeah, are there any up near Mount Tady though? Well, <laughs> I doubt, I doubt. well, we'll see anyway. I mean, we don't particularly need it while we're up there. But what I want to see is how difficult it is trying to charge a car overseas, yeah. whether you have to download the apps and then it's, if it's only on a Spanish app and it's only in Spanish or whatever. There's definitely a petrol station in Villa Flor. Now, Villa Flor is the last sort of Spanish village that we'll be going through before we get to the TD National Park. Right. Um, there is a petrol station in Villa Flor. I do believe it closes at seven o'clock on a Sunday. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, that'll be for your normal fuels, whether they've got an electric charging station. It didn't say it on the maps, but... It'd be interesting just to see. I mean, well, just to go and while see we're driving, it. I don't know whether Zap Map works over here. I've got Zap Map. I don't know whether that works over here, but we can have a look as well. But what we are going to find out is, I do want to give it some charge. I think, we're, do we have to give it charge back up? Or? Yeah, so, again, they didn't actually tell us anything. They didn't give us no information when we took the vehicle, did they? they no, did. they just gave us the keys. The interesting thing is, as well, you could take this to one of the other islands. Uh, if, if you can get this to one of the if you can get this to one of the other islands anyway it'd be interesting let's get you in the driving seat okay see what you reckon it's like let's get on the way and then we'll drive as much as we can we'll, we'll give a reading of what there is at the moment and along the way we'll work out basically uh, how many miles we've got left and what charge that we've got left etc so come on onwards onwards Right, so we have got 89% of battery. Uh, we've also got range, we've changed over to miles, but we've kept the speedo in kilometers per hour so we don't get done for speeding. It's 89% and we've got 137 miles of range, um, which should be okay. However, as we say, we're going up a lot of steep hills and corners. So we're also gonna have the air conditioning on. Now the thing that got me is in the 
uh, Porsche Taycan, when I put the AC on, it takes the battery level down and your range down, but that's not showing on this one, which is odd. Uh, I would have thought it would have shown, but it's not, but maybe it's not quite as sophisticated. Anyway, we're going to set off. It's 4.38 uh, in the afternoon, is that right? Yeah, 4.38 yeah, in the afternoon. And 29 degrees outside. On the car thermometer. On the car thermometer. So add a couple onto that, so maybe 32. Maybe 30, quite, yes. In the shade. Today. In the shade. So come on, onwards my friends, wish us luck. Right, what's your initial thoughts? Give it some welly, let's see. Oh. We're coming up to 60 kilometers an hour zone, so we'll put the foot well, down well, now. We'll stay, well, we'll stay at 60 for yeah. the... Oh, 38, 39, 41. We don't want people dobbing us in. No. <laughs> Good sign there, LTD, Abieto. LTD and this little thing. Nice so, car though, isn't it? Good yeah. drive so far. 13th birthday party. Yeah. What do you think of the car? Yeah, so very smooth, very quiet, um, very responsive on the accelerator. It is, isn't it? I'm finding some buttons on the back of this steering wheel. Do you know what they're for? Yeah, that was for the audio muting. We don't want that radio back on. I'll not be touching And we're at 88%. <laughs> so uh, there we go. Anyway, let's have a, we'll catch up in a bit. But so far, so good. Oh, very good on the hills. It is, isn't yeah. it? It's yeah. It's very good on the hill. The torque is incredible, isn't yeah. it? It's been, it's yeah. been interesting to see what it's like going up some real, real steep hills. Yeah, there's, there's one thing you can never take away from the EVs, which is the response of the accelerator pedal. Yeah. It is. It's torque. there, immediately there. You've got immediate power and the torque Definitely. is phenomenal. 87%. There's sort of no lag either, as I was expecting a little bit of lag. Non, uh, you know, from a small vehicle. Again, expecting it to not be the same as your Porsche. Um, obviously, we're not comparing it to the Porsche, but in terms of EV, like I said, the accelerator, that's quite responsive, that is. Yeah. And nice on the corners. Yeah. Obviously, a different sort of... Uh, different road view to the cars that me and you are used to as are a little bit higher higher ride than this car um nice. i feel safe in it you know it doesn't feel tin canny for a small vehicle it, you know the road feels quite quiet on the outside do you feel um do you feel though first for driving around with electric well you won't have the range anxiety yet because we've got 87 but we'll drive off a little bit uh, and give it a drive, look at the views, and then we'll uh, we'll sum it up anyway. Let's get driving. Had another electric fit 500 passes they've made it if they went all the way oh. like a roller coaster ride how are you finding it very smooth nice very drive. smooth yeah yeah more, uh, more responsive do you think than a fiat 500 petrol uh yes yeah i have drove a fiat 500 petrol in the last few months um a higher car one and don't get me wrong, they're nippy little pocket rockets, but this is way more responsive and very smooth as well. Obviously, it's probably newer than the, the um, petrol version that I drove. It'd be interesting to see what a brand new one of these would cost, though, compared to a petrol. So, if you know, pop it in the comment section down below what the what the price of this is, the list price of this is, and also the list price of the equivalent petrol version of it and pop it in the comment section down below and let's have a look at the difference anyway come on onwards we're down to 80 percent still we're all right and my ears are, my ears are popping already <laughs> we're going higher crikey it is it is steep isn't it 79 percent already when it was only a few seconds ago
uh, one good thing about the um, certainly about the automatic um, transmission on the vehicles um, and and with the EV as well because with the EV having the sort of the immediate response on the accelerator and the automatic transmission certainly on this road you're taking some corners that are very very tight corners that you have to slow down for after the corner you're immediately into an incline now with it being an automatic transmission is there any gears on that because mine's got two the Taycan's got two this might not even have any gears you know I'd have to check possibly yeah yeah, yeah. but you've got instant response you've got instant response and obviously you've not got to fiddle around getting it into the right gear on the corner because as you come out of the corner, you're into an incline, which you don't know until you've gone round the corner, um, you'll naturally be in the wrong gear. Whereas with an automatic, you're already in the right gear, the vehicle's ready to go straight away as soon as you come out of the corner, and with the response from the um, EV acceleration, it's a dream. It's an, I tell you what, I, I like this car. I really like it. It's a nice car to drive. I, don't, I have to agree. I've, you know, I've said, I don't like the idea of electric cars because we're having the choice taken away from us. I've never actually said I don't like electric cars. I've always said I love the way that my electric car drives. It's a Taycan, it's a Porsche, but this as well is a fantastic little thing to drive. It is a pocket rocket. Um, it's just the fact that we're, that we're told you will have, you won't be able to have anything else after 2030 and that's what annoys me because we're not given being given the choice we should have the choice have what you want have an electric car have a petrol car have a diesel car as long as it's got you know a cleaner diesel or whatever but that's what I'm, I'm saying but and build the infrastructure on it because at the moment the infrastructure isn't there um, and I personally don't think it ever will be because I don't think they're serious enough I just said I don't think I don't know what you think I don't think and it's just my opinion I don't think they want us to drive at all possibly Possibly, yeah. So there you go. Well, it'll be uh, similar to what's happening in other industries. It'll be uh, it'll be one of those maybe for the for the rich. That's what I'm saying. They're going to start pricing people out of driving. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I mean, what what do people feel as you know in regards to the transition from um, combustion engine to the EV? Um, do people realise that you're not going to get a, tran uh, a choice in your transmission? All EVs are an automatic uh, transmission. Have you ever driven an automatic? Pop that in the comments below, you know. Yeah. How do you feel about that? I, I think it's, it's the fact that been, the choice is being taken away, but pop it in the comment section down below anyway, and uh, we shall uh, see what you say. But yeah, I think this is a little pocket rocket. It's great, but you know, the thing is, how much is it to replace the batteries? Sure. If you look at a Nissan Leaf, there are Nissan Leafs out there that have lost vast amounts of money uh, and you can't sell them because the range goes down on it because the battery needs replacing, the batteries are extortionate and that's the issues with it. But I mean, if you're going to get one, then I'd probably say lease it and at least you can hand it back or whatever. But yeah, uh, You're looking at the efficiency of the battery as well. I mean, yeah. take your mobile phone into account. A couple of months into your mobile phone use, your battery is not the same as it was. You go onto your settings yeah. in, into your mobile phone and you can actually see Battery yeah. de degradation. Yeah. Degradation. Yeah. Yeah. And exactly. Can you do that on this? Yeah. Well, it, it, well I don't think it, how much your settings on there, but whether it will show you. I, you know, I don't think it's going to show you how much your degradation is on the battery. However, tell us in the comment section down below how much is it to replace a battery in one of these Fiat 500s all electric? Is it and possible? Is it and is it possible? Yeah. Anyway, I'm thirsty. My arms aching. Uh, I, want to, I want to pull over and get a drink from somewhere. My mum used to say, turn the tap on in the back of the seat. And I said, oh, I was thirsty. Anyway, come on, onwards. So that's us now parked. We'll just pop that in park. So we're on 70% battery range remaining, which is about 98 miles. Um, pop in the comments below the conversion, 98 miles into kilometers. Um, so we've just stopped here at this little cafe, Flor de Lava, which is in Villa Flor. 
um, which is the highest Spanish village in all of Spanish territory anywhere in the world. So this is the highest Spanish village in the world. And we've just noticed... I like it, I like it, I like it. And you just know, <laughs> we've just noticed what? what? What we just noticed, Lee, you tell him, you tell him. Well, they do have a Lambra. However, I don't drink and drive, so what I might do is ask them to put a little bit in and then just put some lemonade in. Or I might just have a lemonade and have an Alhambra when I get back. But there we go. But they do sell Alhambra. I'll probably have a Diet Coke and an ice cream like a kid. But what we need to do now is, because there is a filling station over the road, yeah. let's just have a quick walk over before we go for a drink and a refreshment and just see if there is any charging points over there. Because mm -hmm. this is the last village before we go the, up there. This is the last petrol station. Well, it's the only petrol station we've passed that's been open on yeah. the route. So it's literally the last petrol station, the last place. So if there's anywhere before you get to the top of Tady, it should be here. And it's going to be interesting. You would think they would put a charging point here, but we'll go and find out anyway. So come on, onwards. Right. I reckon, by the looks of it, that is an electric charging point. I, can't, I could be wrong. What do you reckon? It might be to put air in your tyres. Oh. Or the vacuum. <laughs> I was getting excited right. then. Right. Right. No, I was getting excited. Uh, uh, no, it's a bicycle box. Oh, it's a bicycle box. Okay. So it's got all tools on for repairing your bike. So if you need uh, a bit of bicycle repair, you're sorted. But if you need if you need electric, then you're not. No, I can't see anywhere at the moment. Right, there's nowhere at the moment. We've got... No, nothing here. No Let's ask him if there's any electric charging points yeah. anywhere. That's Be interesting. The That's the jet wash in the back. Right, we're just going to go and ask if there are any electric charging points near here. Um, ¿Dónde está um, estación para eléctrico? Coche. <laughs> Right, what does he say? So, right. so he said that there is something over here. Right, watch this bike. Yeah, I was going to say, that we are crossing a road. Yeah, we'll watch out. There's another car there. One second. Okay, so let's go and find out. He says there's something over here. So, we'll go and have a look. Somebody's house. You can plug it I in. I think that's basically what he was saying. So we'll have a look. Um, are there any, are there any apps that across from the restaurant. Across from, ah, hang on a minute. Wait a minute. There is. I think there is. And it's got an actual, wow, okay, here we go. Wall box. Right, so there is actually a charging point. So there we go. And I think it says wall box. Yeah, that looks like you just tap a card unless you have to download an app. I don't know. Maybe we'll try and put a little bit in there's on the way back. The oh, there's a QR on the side of it. Yeah. Here we go, wall box. So scan the QR and I'd imagine that would take you through to... The only thing is, Dan's going to tell you, I would never be able to get my take can up that, right? Because they've put a tiny little thing here. It's like they've cut it in. But just explain, look at this. So I think this was, this drop curb here was originally here before the electric, st the electric station looks brand spanking new. Um, the, this drop curb was already there. Definitely that was already there. And obviously they've not dropped the curb there. There's a, um, a water main there. But then on the inside of it, it's the same. There's no drop curb. So I think that would take about 10% of battery just to get your wheels back over well, that. Well, if, if you'd got a Porsche Taycan, it, this would damage, look at this, yeah. this would damage, because you've only got this part here, you'd never get, you'd never get that, your car through there. You might actually get the Fiat through there. And depending on the wheel span as well, you could even get wedged on that. Yes, Depending you could. On your wheel span, you could get wedged on that. Yeah, because the bottom of it, you could you could actually yeah. curb the bottom of the car with where all your batteries are. Yeah. On that. I mean, they have literally just built it on the side of a sort of like a mini fitness zone, maybe like an X plate part. 
and they've literally just cut it onto the end of there. But it's here. It's here. It's still here. I mean, your tie can, I'd imagine your cable had reached from the main road there anyway. Uh, it's a push, maybe. You could always actually, I'll tell you what you could, you'd have to do with the tie can. You'd have to pull it. Yeah. You'd have to pull it up the kerb, up like that. Yeah, at an angle. At an angle, and then block one of the other bays. Yeah. And the bus lane behind you as well. Oh yes, and the bus lane, but the bus stop behind you. Not ideal. No, no. Not ideal. No. Afterthought. But that is the current infrastructure for EV. So. But it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. And this is now. I mean, I'm not sure the exact height we are at the moment, but we are certainly a good 2,000 meters above sea level. So we are high. Right. We are very high. Anyway. I'm thirsty. So there you go, there is a charging point. We might try that one on the way back down and just see whether we can do it with an app, etc., uh, and try and download it. Look at this. Look at this mural here, look. Fantastic. Look at this. Wow. It's brilliant. Electric Lexus behind you. Well, a hybrid one. Hybrid. So there is one. As we say, though, afterthought, it's not, it's like. They're not taking it seriously. They're just putting them there for, you know, the evangelists. See, the amount of space that petrol station's got, I'd have thought it would have been more sensible to put it there. Well, yeah. I mean, there, where them rocks where, are. Where them rocks are and where that bike thing is. There, look. Depending whether they've got power there, but you'd have power at the st petrol station. And then normally the petrol station would take a percentage uh, of the charge. So, odd. Anyway, let's get something to eat and drink. Right, so just a little snackette, nine euros something, I think it was, nine euros 95. I've got Cheetos, you've got a donut, very healthy. Twix. Uh, a Twix and two Fanta oranges there. Um, so, um, we're, we are going to have an Alhambra later. We're just not drinking it. We're, we're, we are sensible when, we, when we've dropped the car back yeah. off, we'll have an Alhambra. But what's going to be interesting is trying to use that. I think we'll try and use that one on the way back yeah, down. We'll go, yeah. um, rather than going to the shopping centre, shopping mall, we'll try and use that because um, it would be interesting. I want to see how, how fast it charges as well, yeah. because some of them charge really slowly, so if you're in a hurry to get back, it might take a while. And you've also got to have your own cable as well, which there is one in the uh, in the boot, or in the trunk if you're American, of this car. So, But so far, uh, I've got to say the car, there's nothing wrong with the car at all. It's a great, great little pocket rocket. Anyway, we'll eat these, and then we'll see you back in the car. Right, hang on a minute, we're back again, because these are not Cheetos, what's going on here? What are these? Look at these Cheeto footballs, whatever they are. What's all that about? Try one of them. It's weird. Footballs. Footballas. I don't know. Very odd. It says cheese flavour, but I want to say they've got a bit of bacon in to them. Cheesy yeah, yeah. Bacon and, mm. Cheesy bacon flavour. Nice. Very good. Maybe that's what that little is bacon. Cheeto Cheetos American. What's Pelotasos? Is that bacon and cheese, is it something? I don't know. Hello, mm -hmm. I'll tell you what we do. Google. Old, uh, Google Translate, we'll hover it over, let's have a look. Other translation apps are available. Here we go. What? Very nice though, here we go. Palatosas, what's that say? Football. Fo football balls. <laughs> oh, football balls, there you go, but it does taste of, uh, does taste of bacon. Anyway, we'll see you in a minute. Right, okay, so it is now half past five or 5.35, so we'll get back in the car, work out what charge we've got, and let's get up there now. At least we know we've got a charging point to come back to if we need it, but I think we ought to try it out anyway and just see how many kilowatts yeah, it's given and, like. and how long it's going to take to charge. It'd be interesting, but I mean... They need see if to, it works. See if, well, see if it works, yeah, and if we, if we can download the app yeah, and yeah. how difficult it is. Anyway, come on, let's onwards. <laughs> Right, we're just going to, uh, can we turn that AC down a minute? There we go, let's turn that down. Right, we've just pulled in because I reckon, look at this. <laughs> and we're on about electric car fires, right? Let's go out and have a look at this, we're just pulling up. This is mad. Right, we'll pull in and park up and we'll show you. 
Right, look at this. This is madness. <laughs> it, it's not a Tesla bus, is it? <laughs> it could be. Made by Tesla. Wow, look at this. You want to buy? I sell you. You sell it to me? I wow. So <laughs> yeah, can you bring it to my house? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Electric oh electric bus. Yeah, I think that was the, uh, yesterday afternoon or yesterday, today. Yeah. Uh, today because it's the rest of the spoon uh, from you know the the, the sponge. Ah, the spoon, yeah, the foam, yeah. the foam, yeah, yeah. Uh, from, from yeah, it's still dripping, yeah. yeah. Wow, what is that? It's still the water from the. Um, oh, it smells. Whoa, jeez. Fire engines. Yeah, sure. Look at this. This is mad. It's fresh. Freshly burnt. So it's definitely an engine one anyway. It's not it, it's not electric. <laughs> no, the engine is I think is in good condition. Engine's in good condition. Yeah. Should do a upper, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Could renovate that. That's mad, look at it. You wouldn't have to worry about your air conditioning. <laughs> Plenty of climate control. <laughs> air conditioning, yeah. Wow. Just look at that. That's mad. Right, I think, do you know what? This video is actually supposed to prove how naff electric cars are, but what we're proving is it's actually really good at driving, uh, great at getting up hills so far, um, charging in it's infrastructure that's showing again, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but also that it's not just electric vehicles that set on fire, yeah. it's also uh, internal combustion engines as well. So there we go, quite stunk, didn't it? Yeah, I wonder cool. how many people were actually on it. I think they probably got off. Well, obviously, but I mean... Yeah, <laughs> I'm hoping they got off anyway. Yeah. Goodness gracious, I hope they got off. I hope everyone's safe, I'm sure they are. Uh, anyway, we're going to... Um, <sighs> Gonna get back in the EV. Yeah. Yeah. Get that aircon back on. Get the aircon back on. Come on. <laughs>
Okay, MacMaster friends, we are just approaching the um, base of Mount Taidi now. We are just coming up to the cable car station. We are arriving at 50 to 51% charge remaining, which means we've used 49 to 50% of the battery so far. Um, just a quick question for you. Um, if you know the answer to this, pop it in the comment section down below. Um, now me and the MacMaster are... 50% now. We're on 50%. Now that we are 3,120 metres above sea level, um, we're at the base of Mount Tidy. We are, what, about an hour back from resort now? Yeah. What happens if the volcano erupts right now? Will the lava wait for me and Lee while we go and charge the EV so we can escape? <laughs> or will we have to run for it? Um, if you've got the answer to that, pop it in the comment section down below. <laughs> And we're just going to park the car up and uh, show you a little bit of uh, the base of Tady. There we go. Right, and believe it or not, there is a charging point here at the top of Tady. Made my day. At the base <laughs> of Tady, at the cable car. Look at this. There we go. We had nothing to worry about. Look at this. So if the, if it does erupt, right, we can charge it here before the lava comes down, which hopefully is slow. Lava's pretty slow, isn't it? So, mm. come cool, on, let's go and have a look. We made it, though. And how many... Let's have a look. Hang on a minute. I'll tell you how many metres it is. One second. Or what we are. We're actually... Elevation, we're 7,517... 18 foot, it says... Roughly like that, so there you go. So we've just parked the car in the charging parking space. So this is the last parking space at the end of the car park, which means this is as high as the electric vehicle can go. So this is it, this is the top. And we're on 49% battery, leaving us 53 miles in range remaining. So we've got an estimated time to 100% charge. But it depends on how many wattage that charger it does. is. Yeah, yeah. So what we'll do is we'll go and try it, see whether we've got to download an app or whether we can actually well, just it's got it. it's got a minimum and a maximum as well. So a fast charge, 56 minutes to 100%. Minimum, a two hours and two minutes. And a maximum charge is seven hours and 51 minutes. So I wonder if that is the difference between a the fast charge. Between fast charge, but we'll, Let's we'll go find and out. Right, so he's actually going to have to reverse the car in because the connector's at the back of the car. And obviously, unless there's another one at the front somewhere, no, I don't believe there is. No. No, so he's going to have to reverse the car and then we'll figure out uh, if we can charge. No sound, look. Oh, a little whir, a little whir. Right, this is the cable car anyway that takes you up the top of Mount Tady there. Right, I'm a seasoned EV head. Oh, this doesn't sound as good as petrol head, does it? Right. Professional. Yeah. Professional. So, I'm guessing type 2, that goes in there like that. Okay, and then which side is the We're charger on? The other side now. On the other side. Okay, so then I'll plug that in there, take that out, pop that in. Okay, and I don't know what it's saying here. Mustre Targeta. So that's asking for your card. Okay, let's try, see whether it just takes contactless. No. Nope. Try. Maybe, do we need to press the B? Is it a touch screen on here? No. Nope. So this is the reality, my friends, of the electric charging. There's no instructions. Is it charging the car though? Maybe it's just charging it. Let's have a look. There's the key. Okay, so, sorry, we're, there's no clips and editing on this one. We're just gonna go with it. This is all raw footage. All raw. Charge point door open. Um, issue detected, check external charging, charging station. 
Okay. Right, let me try, rather than contactless, right, let's just try a card. Just in case Apple Pay doesn't work. Ah! Moustray Targeter para Cancela. Correcte Manguera. Um, what's this actually saying? I don't know what this is saying. Um, lens, let's have a look. Search with your camera. Um, translate, here we go. Come on. Translate. Uh, I don't know what it's doing here. No. Translate. Translate. Come on. Take a photo of the words to translate. Oh, n show card to cancel. That's it. So, let's go back to the car. I think it might be charging. Issue detected. Check external charging station. <laughs> okay. Now I can check whether it's actually charged my car, uh, charged my card or anything. Let's have a look. Um, here we go. Euro Restaurante Tidy. It's charged me nine euros ten cent. Right. Oh no, that was that Restaurant was the, Tidy. That was before. Oh, that was that. Okay. Maybe try unplugging and plugging the plugs back in. Okay. Maybe yeah. Okay. Wait a minute. Try again. Okay, hang on. Oh, hang on a minute. We've got. Do I press that or something? Nothing yet. No. What's that say? So it's back to the original screen now. So do we need to show the card again? Maybe if we try plugging it into Type side two. A. Side A, maybe. Or maybe present your card first. I'll present my card first. Right, okay. This is all a bit raw, so here we go. We're going with it. Sorry about this. So a card first. Selection. So now maybe plug the... Oh, because this is... Is this A? That's it. A. Select A. Hang on a minute, it's made a noise. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Boom. I think we've got something. Getting excited. Yes, here we go. We've got it, we're doing it. Plugged in and charging. Estimated time to 100%. Four hours, three hours, actually it's going down. Here we are, look. Right, <laughs> yeah. We're charging! We're doing it! <laughs> I'm excited! Yeah. High five! Yeah, that's how we roll. We're the EV guys! That's right, that's yeah. right. Straight to the top. Yeah. Charger. I tell you what, EV man would be proud. Yeah. <laughs> the guy who watches me. Yeah. There you go, EV man. I've, I've not made it look too difficult, have I? No. Um, you know, we've figured it out in the end. Yeah, and it's a nice drive as well. Yeah, don't nice go drive. away though, because we're going to get back. We'll let you know what we've done, you know. But I mean, it's, it's taking a while. Oh, we've got a security coming over. I don't know why it's coming over. Maybe telling us not to record. But yes, we've done it. Sorted. So. Have a quick explore around while we're... Yeah, we'll have, we'll have a little look around, see if there's a little uh, something to drink or whatever. It might be closed, but we'll have a look at the view, etc. And you can take a look at it. So there you go. Right, anyway, come on, onwards. I don't know how much it's going to cost me, like, but we'll fathom that out. <laughs> Right, so if you are going to come up Tady in an electric car on a Sunday, on a Sunday, and you do need to charge, you're going to be in trouble if you leave it really low because it's now half past six um, and it's closing and it said we can't stay. So you're going to have to unplug the car and drive back down because they're going to close the gates in five minutes. So if you were out of charge, you'd be out of luck at the same time. You'd have to try and make it down to that other charging in, point. In Villa Floor, yeah. In Villa Floor, yeah. yeah. But um, I think uh, I think we should be all right. We should be all right with the percentage that we've got. But if, yeah. I think if, you, if you're under sort of the 30% mark, yeah. 
Yeah, you're gonna be. Uh, you're gonna be stuffed. Yeah. Yeah. So. But it's gonna be squeaky, squeaky bum time, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, let's be honest. But, but if you're coming up and you're gonna go up, and you're gonna, you know, go up there. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if you've got, I mean, you get your tickets from Daniel at Tenerife First Excursions. You get them from Lily's Adventure Tours. You sort your tickets out while you're up on the cable car. Because you, when you get to the the summit of Tidi on the cable car, you get an hour to explore. So by the time you've got your up ticket there, comes back down. Come back right. down. Yeah. You'd had a drink. You've had a bite to eat. You've then your car's charged. But yeah. I mean, we're just so technically, you wouldn't come at this time anyway. No, no. You, we've on. we've not come to do the we've cable not come car. To do the cable we've come car. To try and get the electric vehicle. Yeah. Or, but to be fair, there's an electric charging point, and we worked it out. Yeah. And I am I am being fair on it on this one. So yeah. um you know there we is... didn't we didn't know the charging point was here. We've done no research prior to the video. You should always do your research. You but should we've all... done no research. You should always plan your journey. You, oh, you're yeah. playing yeah. to the evangelist's yeah. hands here. Yeah. <laughs> but that's not that's not part of being a spontaneous sort of in the moment. You can't be spontaneous in the moment if you're an evangelist. No. It doesn't work. Anyway, we'll unplug it. We don't need any more charge and then we'll head back down and we'll tell, we'll take you guys with us and see what charge we've got left at the end of it because I want to get back down to um, uh, Las Americas or wherever and go and have a beer so and, and get rid of the electric car. Yeah. So, but so far though, it's been a good journey and it's shown that you can actually do it on this island and come up and have a tour around, you know. I mean, I, and I'm presuming in the north there's going to be many more charging points. Yeah, I've seen a few in the north. Yeah. Uh, like I said, most of the mo main commercial centres, supermarkets, they've all got the points in. Again, I've not been up to the points to see whether they work. Um, I saw some yesterday, I sent you a photo, the ones in Leroy Merlin yeah. in the decky. They had green lights on the side of their unit, so I am assuming yeah. that those units are in operation and working. Yeah, so you can yeah. do it. There the we go. There's, there's infrastructure here, whether it's enough. I don't know. You know, I've not got an, uh, everybody who's watched Lee's videos before and have seen my vehicle. Clearly, no, I've not got an electric vehicle. <laughs> um, so, you know, it's not something necessarily on my radar, but I've definitely noticed the points yeah. around. And Let's go and get back in anyway. And I need to touch the card again and we'll go and get out of here because the, the security guy's going to beat us otherwise. Yeah, he's, he's staring at he's us. He's staring at us. He's staring at us. Right, so let's have a look what we're at. 51%. We're at 51%, so what was we at? 49%? Yeah. So we put 2% in. But we have only been charging it for about four minutes. Yeah, so uh, there we go. Right, let's stop this. Um, time, seven minutes and eight seconds. So there we go. Uh, I pull that out, take this back. There we go. And then we'll put this back in the boot. There we go. Make sure you've got your own charging cable. Porsche don't give you one, by the way. I had to buy one. There we go. Pop that back in there. Awesome. Um, and then close the charging point. And then I'll see what it's actually charged me if it's come up. Because it doesn't give you a receipt. So luckily yours does tell you on your phone. Well, it might not, dependent upon whether it's actually connected to the internet, that, that thing. Um, nothing's come up as yet uh no so you don't know you haven't it doesn't tell you how much it's i think that'll ping as soon as we start moving into civilization well they've got a signal but they're just not telling you so you kind of have to just hope that they're not charging me 42 euros a kilowatt or whatever right, let's get back in the car and get out of here before it gives us some truncheon Right, we're just going to get out because we're going to take the uh, the thumbnail shot here because you can see Tady up there and uh, it's wow and the landscape's breathtaking. Right, so we're going to get back in the car, got all the photos we needed and we're going to head back down again. So come on, onwards my friends.
right, so we've actually gone up in range. Another percent. Another percent. <laughs> we've gone 53 percent. And I think it's because we're freewheeling down or we're just going down and it's using the regen, obviously. So we're obviously on the way down. It's not going to take as much um, charge. So that's good. Come on. Wow, amazing views, but it, the, the range is actually going, the percentage is going up. We've got 57 miles of, of uh, range left, but 52% of the battery, and it keeps going from 51 up to 52. Obviously, it's using the regen, isn't it, when it's, yeah. when it's going down? So, on your way down, you've actually got, uh, well, it's a lot better. Wow, look at that. So it's actually gone up again. It's now 54%, 63 miles range. And uh, wow, I mean, wow, that's, that's absolutely amazing. So gorgeous, right above the clouds there. So 54%, 63 miles of range. It's actually gone up, which is, which is, well, it's obviously using the region, isn't it? So on your way down, not using anywhere near as much power. Okay, so we're a bit further down now and we're going up again. We're on 56% battery charge with 66 miles in range remaining. We have got the aircon on as well, so any people saying, oh, but you've not got the aircon on, you're trying to save. No, we're not. We're doing everything the same as we were when we were going uphill. The only difference is we are, um, we have got a little bit of extra traffic on the road to what we had when we was going up, so we are doing a little bit more braking and the braking does add to the charge apparently. Um, yeah, so one little thing that we've noticed while we've been driving down um, from the volcano is that there is a bar just to the right of the odometer that tells you sort of whether you're consuming power or whether you're applying charge to the battery while you're driving and what it does so now I'm braking for this corner the blue bar is shut down at the bottom into the charge zone and now we've just come off that corner and I've just tapped the accelerator it's now gone into the orange above the charge zone which is the power zone and the word power at the top then goes from grey to white and then as soon as you dip under to the charge section, the word charge at the bottom goes from grey to white. So it alternates between the two, depending on whether you're applying power or whether the car is charging while moving. That's what we've noticed. And we're now at 59%. So it's definitely been charging more than using power on the way down, which is what we thought it would do. Um, because again, if you put yourself into a, um, a combustion engine, diesel or petrol, and you do two journeys, one all uphill and then the same journey back downhill, you will notice that you will use more fuel going up the hill than you will do coming down. It's it's natural. And obviously the electric vehicle does the exact same thing based on the, the battery rather than the fuel. There, what happened just there? I literally went through the windscreen. Yeah, so we we just approached the junction and there's plenty of distance between us and the car in front. Um, we we're taking it very, very steady. There was no sudden jolts or anything with the vehicle and then all of a sudden flash on the screen 
AEB operators. It was like an alarm sort of flashing on the screen with the alarm sounds. Um, we were going, what we were doing was literally rolling, weren't rolling, we? So yeah. I don't think the car actually braking took over or anything, but we think the car thinks that we we're going to hit a car in front of us. So it stopped. And they, they had to be at least 15, 15 yards. 20 yards between that car that was in front of us. That's crazy. And we're now at 60%. We're now at 60%. So it's gone up even more. 75 miles of range remaining. So there you go. And we are very, very close now to, um, I think we're approaching the TF1 area. So we've nearly made it. Nearly made it back. Yep. Cool. Right, well, we're back. And 56%, 78 miles. It's done well. Uh, it's done really well, actually, I have to say. Um, and as a little car, it's a little pocket rocket, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, is, it would just cost a lot more, I guess, than a, than a sort of like a, uh, an internal combustion engine. But, you know, if you're looking at infrastructure, I mean, you wouldn't think you'd find a charging point at the top of that, my day. The that's basically. one for your EV portfolio, though, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, you know? so I was like, I was expecting it to be uh, a little bit more difficult than that. Uh, and I've got to say, it wasn't. So, you know, it was, and it, and it was, an, I like it. Yeah. I actually like yeah, it. Not a problem. <laughs> I'd happily drive that drive again in this car. I mean, I still think they're all about control, my personal opinion. Yeah. However, and I say it's just choice, it's, it's the choice mm -hmm. that we're not being given, we're having that taken mm -hmm. away. But however, it's a wonderful car to drive. If you had to drive this, if somebody gave you this, would you be happy with it? Um, as a full-time vehicle, I think with the mileage that I do, I'd probably get away with it. Yeah. Um, I mean, you've seen where we live to where our business is, you know, we, we're not a massive distance. Size wise, I, I wouldn't be able to manage with what I need the size yeah. of the vehicle for. But if this was a, a second car for me, uh, you know, separate to my work vehicle, I'd be more than happy with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And there are charging yeah. points around. So if you do come to Tenerife, then uh, you can get one of these through Sicar. We're not sponsored by them. I'm not sponsored by them in any way, shape or form. Uh, I paid for this. In fact, what did it cost me, did I say? Uh, was it 42.99, I think, around that? 42. Euros, 42 euros, 99. 40. 41 euros 99 cent there you yeah. go uh, for the day that was but obviously they'll do different deals so uh, and that came fully charged 100 percent battery it did 100 yeah. percent battery yeah. um i'll put their details actually in the description down below if you want to hire a car uh, head over they seem very good actually to be fair yeah, yeah. i mean there's, there's loads of hire car companies it was just a case of obviously for this purpose we needed an electric vehicle yeah it had to be 100 percent electric they were um, a lot of hire car companies coming up there is a line that, 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 that had yeah. hybrids. Yeah, there is a lot. Um, of car, there's a lot of car companies out there. Yeah. However, electric car, electric car, 100%. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it works on the island yeah, it, yeah. if you want it. Um, Even though they advise us not to hire. <laughs> the only thing that I'm concerned about is nothing has come up yet uh, for. Has it got to be charged to take it? Well, back? no. How much it cost me? Yeah. How much it was? Oh, has it, it still not come up yet? No, no nothing's come oh, right, up. Okay. So I don't know how much it actually cost me to for, charge For the car. seven minutes. For the seven minutes that we were there. That it had. Um, so there you go. Anyway, yeah. by the way, before we go, I want to ma say a massive thank you to this guy here, which is Dan. Yeah, to you. Well, Let's I want to say thank you to you. No, you, thank you. Well, thank you. Thanks to Lily's. How about thank you? Thanks <laughs> to Lily's English Tea Terrace uh, in Costa Adeki. If you are coming over, then you want somewhere to have a nice bite to eat, a nice breakfast. I can highly recommend the breakfast, and I've had a few of them. I can tell you uh, that it's great. I've also had the afternoon tea as well, which is fantastic. I've done a review of that on my channel as well. Uh, and you do other stuff as well, oh, wrapped sandwiches. All sorts, um, some proper nice staple, yeah. eggy bread. And yeah, and also- Fish finger sandwich. Also, now then, if you're gonna, if you've got like a, if you're gonna propose, we're gonna have a little party or whatever, or baby maybe shower. a baby shower, yeah. you know, what boy, whether it's a boy or a girl, yeah. you can now do that on the roof. Yeah, we've got a full private roof terrace. Um, you can hire that out if you want. We can cater up to about 60, 70 people on the roof. Yeah. Um, 
we've also got the internal dining room as an overflow for the roof so you can have an outside and an inside the shade the sun yeah and oh there's, and a, there's alhambra there's alhambra there's always alhambra <laughs> always alhambra in a frosty frozen glass in a frosty frozen glass yep. it's like a little piece of home from home it's fantastic i love it and i'm not sponsored by him either so there we go um although he did make me a cheese and ham sandwich this afternoon yeah, did, yeah. yeah you did. i had one as well yeah lovely. so do you want chris for a natural cheese and ham sandwich <laughs> but there we go so that's cheddar the, cheese that's lily the key english tea terrace go and visit him when you're in tenerife and i'll put the details in the description down below I like to say I like it. You can get, you're getting used to it now, aren't you? Natural, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. So show him some love. Give him a thumbs up. Give him a heart. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was something a little bit different. I really enjoyed the road trip. And can I believe it? I'm actually saying this. This car's fantastic. I loved it, actually. It was great. It's a, it's a thumbs up for EV for me. I mean... Well, I, I can't give a thought, you know. Not for this. For this. But, for this yeah. video. The EV gets a thumbs up from me. Very, very nippy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. really good. Yeah. Uh, the Fiat. Excellent. Are we going to score it out of 10? <laughs> Why not? Uh, Why well, not? If I was to score the car out of 10 as a little car... Um, I'm at a 9. I was going to go 9, yeah, yeah. I'm at a 9 out of 10 for this yeah, car, it's definitely. Fantastic. It's fantastic. No problems. Even the hire process. Obviously, there was a little initial hiccup when they turned around and says, we've not got an electric vehicle and I had to make... Then they tried to put us off. Then they tried to put us off and says the island's not really infrastructured for electric vehicles. But where we went, we found two. Yeah. Yeah. And we also found another one at the shopping centre, at the yes. shopping mall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'm pretty sure there'll be loads in the north. Yeah, yeah. So, and how much range do you want? It's not a massive, it's not a massive island, is no, it? No. So there no. we go. That's all from me today. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Click the little bell for notifications when I upload new videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget, Lily's English Tea Terrace in Costa Adeki. Go and see him. Go and see him. Go and get, cup of tea. Get, get, cup of tea. Cup of tea and get your picture took with him. Bye-bye.